Good morning, everyone. Happy Memorial Day and happy Monday, um, May 28th. This is Mars Monday Morning Magic and Messages. And um, today is really, really inspiring and magical. So I'm excited um, to share everything with you. So um, we're going to start with Moss Agate is our uh, crystal of the day. And um, moss agate is a very calm and stabilizing uh, gemstone, and it helps us to recover from symptoms and from a period of symptoms. So I know um, a lot of you have shared with me that that's been going on, and, um, and so moss agate really will help. So the energy from that I'm sending out. It also strengthens um, our aura and our energy fields. So um, this is one that I was told years ago uh, to keep uh, next to my bed or even underneath my bed. Um, and it really helps um, with uh, healing and, um, and that strengthening of our aura and our energies um, overnight. So just a thought, but um, I'm going to be holding on to it for, uh, for this week. All right. Second, uh, our oil of the week is cassia. So cassia is the oil of um, wisdom, so always a good thing. And um, so in terms of our wisdom, how this oil, cassia, which is like um, cinnamon, it's not cinnamon, it's different, but it tastes super good. So you literally can eat it and it's sweet and it's so delicious and spicy. Anyway, my suggestion though is that you put it on your wrist um, and realize that you might want to dilute it as it could, as it is a spicy hot oil. So anyway, um, cassia helps us to, um, access and understand more, um, of ourselves, of our own inner wisdom. It deepens our level of knowingness and, um, and it just, uh, you know, helps us to understand from our heart and um, and from our soul, what we've learned. So beautiful oil to use. It's also um, a great oil to diffuse, you know, with others. You can add it to some other things. And um, good morning, Jessica from Canada. Um, great to have you here. So, um, okay, so moving on. So we have Cassia, we have Moss Agate. And then we're going to move on to our um, to some of the cards that I pulled today. And um, so the first one is from this moon deck. Um, and the card is, I craft my core desires with certainty and ease. And so, um, so uh, anyway, this is just, it's so fun. Sorry, it's just so fun and exciting. So our deepest desires can act as a roadmap. So I've said this, you know, in a different, a lot of different ways about how when we follow our bliss and our pleasure and the things that make us happy, that that is really bringing us closer and closer to our divine purpose. And so this is just another way of saying that our deepest desires, what are the things that you deeply, deeply have always wanted to do? Um, they will bring you to more of your life's purpose and, and bring you a life with purpose and with meaning. So if you listen closely, you know what you want and you know how to manifest it already. And so you, we all know this, right? If we, at those moments when we're not attached to a phone or a computer or a TV or some kind of outside in force, when we sit in contemplation or meditation or we sit uh, in the woods or take a walk or with our animals or with our new babies, right, Eric? Um, with our new babies and just being in that moment, we get incredible information and glimpses of what really makes us happy. So when you claim your innate ability to craft and create, you connect to a deep knowing that is unshakable. Nobody can get, nobody can get you out of that. And it lives in your bones it lives in your bones. It's magnetic and it pulls, pulls, pulls towards you what you 
what is going to make you the happiest, which is actually going to really create this amazing life where you are serving yourself and everybody else. And so it just, um, it just is such a beautiful confirmation. Um, feeling this sense of trust and ease with all that you're creating in your life. So that's really just, sometimes it's so hard to, um, to just be okay with that. Just to be, it's a practice to be okay with going after your desires and knowing that that's actually what's going to best serve every single person in your life. Mostly, most importantly, your, you and yourself, you, yourself, and I, right? You, yourself, and me. So, okay. So that is our first card. The second one is koala, which is empathy. Speak less and listen more. So, so interestingly enough, this week, I, um, I floated. I'm, I've been doing a lot of floating. Um, we have a new center here called Float in New Hampshire. And um, of course, a doTERRA person opened it. And uh, and a dear friend. And um, anyway, I got some water, salt water in my ear when I was floating. Um, but I think that it's bigger than that. So I have not been able to hear very well out of my of my right ear. And so what's interesting is for me to get this card and realize on a deeper sense, because every every symptom that we get is communication and information from our soul period this is what this is what my experience has brought me from being a chiropractor for almost 20 years and um and an energy healer for about 10 years and essential oil goddess for about six years so you know these symptoms that we get are not just like uh, a coincidence or or an outside in situation it's an inside out situation so so i've been really feeling into that like this is interesting i can't really hear very well out out and in and what it's doing is it's forcing me to really hear my in my insides so when i'm sitting in meditation like it's amplified in my right ear my inside voice is amplified in my right ear and the outside voices are muffled. It's really cool because <laughs> what is that doing? It's really forcing me in. And and so anyway, the guides wanted me to, to, to tell everyone that today. Um, so when we are speaking more and we're listening, I'm sorry, speaking less and listening more, it really changes your perception and perspective. Um, so what would it look like if you allowed your senses and especially your body sense to be more of a conduit um, for the for this profound connection that we have with source, with our souls, with ourselves, and and get more of a of a deep understanding of your own wisdom back to Cassia, right? Um, so so anyway, play around with that. Even just in terms of your body sense, I feel things in my body when they're right or like right on. I get the chills. I, um, I just feel it in my body. I wonder if you were to breathe in to your own <clears throat> selves at, and feel what that feels like, to feel that body sense of different situations and of what next step should I be taking? Because it all, we are honestly being told all the time, we are, we, we know what's going on in our own bodies if we would just stop and listen a little bit more to them. So anyway, just a thought. Next card of the day is follow your own rhythm. So again, same, same kind of, a uh, theme here for today's reading, but follow your own rhythm. Isn't this just a gorgeous card too? So I love, I love what she says here. You know that you march to your own beat, that no one else can tell you what your inner rhythms are and that you must trust in your own timing. Isn't that awesome? That was such gorgeous confirmation. And, and I hope it is for you too. Um, 
Life celebrates and supports the natural rise and fall of your inner rhythms. So just like what all these other cards are saying. So as we take more notice of our, our own inside world, um, we will be able to flow into our lives and, and really do what um, serves us and brings so much happiness and joy and pleasure to ourselves. So this card brings the special message that you cannot miss what you are destined for. Did you hear that? You cannot miss it. Um, nor will you gain anything by trying to push yourself. And this is the year of not pushing yourself. 20, uh, 2018 is absolutely the year of not pushing yourself. So this is reminding us of that. Trust in the life cycles within and you will feel the perfect balance between effort and surrender, discipline and letting go. So you must surrender your attachment to doing things the way that others think they should be done. Ah, right? Like how many times do we get this information, this outside in, like you should do it this way or that way or, or what society thinks that we should be doing or what seems to be or, ah, oh, goodness, so challenging and just not the way. Not the way. This is reminding us that the way we want to do it, our own uniqueness is what the world needs. So you also, we all need to honor our need for rest and replenishment as well as your need to play. Um, you are an empowered individual and you have the intelligence and wisdom to choose for yourself. So Awesome. Gosh, I just love that message. So our final card, the dance unveiling. So, so this is a good one um, as well and follows along this same um, idea, which is we're really, um, we're really starting to unveil our future little by little. And these first cards that I spoke about um, talk about that, but this one is now saying, there's a situation in your life that is being unveiled and it will reveal itself with more and more clarity as time goes on. Again, in your own divine timing, in your own divine and unique way, as you tap into your pleasure and your joy and your desires, this is what's going to happen. It's going to reveal a totally different reality and direction for you. Um, there's an important situation in your life right now that is still unfolding and that you have yet to perceive fully. And so all of you have ideas that just popped in and you were like, oh, maybe it's this. Oh, maybe it's that. Yes. So the answer is yes. It's all of those things. And, um, and it's safe for you to be patient and it's safe for you to be curious. It's safe for you to surrender into not knowing at the moment everything and this card is reminding us that we don't we don't yet know everything we just don't so as i look forward in terms of my business and and um next steps in my life it's it can be so easy to be like um impatient frustrated that you're not there yet and what this card is reminding us is that you are there. You are there right now, and it's all unfolding, and it's all happening. And as you keep following your bliss and your soul, it's all unfolding. So, um, yeah. So be patient. Allow yourself to get used to the new truths that are revealing themselves to you now. So, yay! Exciting. I hope that that was inspiring and helpful. It really brought me so much energy and excitement um, to just uh, feel into all of that and to just, again, be grateful for where I'm at right now and know that there's only so much fun coming, coming our way, our collective way. Um, I hope that today everyone gets a chance to um, maybe tap into yourselves maybe close your ears, <laughs> be like me on the right side, close your ears as you are um, listening to your inner self a little more and, um, 
and just know that I'm uh, holding all of you in my heart and my soul and I'm excited to see what continues to come uh, and reveal itself. Have a beautiful, beautiful day and, um, and, and just know how blessed we are to be uh, at this place at this time. Thank you all so much and I'll see you next week.